YouTube. How are you guys doing this morning? Um, or today, or tonight, whenever you're watching this. Anyway, I am making, a, it's, it's an historical event because, um, I made this video yesterday and I lost it somehow, transferring. I was really frustrated and sad, but, um, this one's going to be even better. So I'm making, uh, eggnog with no fat, no sugar, uh, you just have to watch. It's amazing. So stay tuned, like they used to say in the old days. Okay, so I have my phone. Uh, on my little uh, MacGyver thing, it's uh, you'd laugh if you could see it. So I have to bend down a little because it's still not quite tall enough. But if I get any taller, uh, it'll topple over, I think. So um, hopefully you'll be able to see everything I'm doing. Um, anyway, so the first thing I'm going to add, I'm going to try and make this speedy so you don't get bored. I'm adding non-fat milk. So I'm going to make a little more than I did yesterday because it was so good that I actually want more. <laughs> so this is going to be more. So I, I, you know, I don't measure very well. So I put in, what is that? About two and a half cups. That's what I'm thinking. And the thing that makes eggnog eggnog. There's four egg yolks in here, separated. You don't, whoa, you don't want the white. And this is another cool thing about this recipe, is that it's uh, going to be cooked. So that's cool because a lot of people are worried about uh, drinking eggs that aren't cooked, even if they're pasteurized. Sorry, forgot to do. But um, this is cooked. And, and I don't know. Anyway, it's good. So, this is the cornstarch. Oh, hang on. Gotta get my phone. Okay, I'm back. So, I added the milk and the eggs so far. Now I'm doing the cornstarch, and I don't remember if I already put one in, but I don't think so. So I'm going to put this, because I, I wanted it to be really creamy. Yesterday I put four tablespoons, and uh, it came out perfect, but today I'm making more. So I'm going to put in six teaspoons. You might think that's a lot, but it really, you want it to come out creamy, because we're not using milk or cream, and this is what's going to give it that creaminess. And it tastes good still. So, six teaspoons of corn cornstarch. I hope I did count it right. Good old standby stevia. I'm using all my stevia. And I have to lie, I, I added a little bit of Splenda in there because um, I'm al I was almost out and I wanted to be sweet enough and I don't like Splenda. We have it here. I don't think we have any regular sugar in our house so um if we do it's probably really old so um yeah i put a little bit of splenda so don't put splenda if you don't unless you really like it you can use splenda but i like stevia personally i just think it's a better product safer more healthy a pinch still a pinch oh i almost went the wrong way i almost do the whole salt pinch of salt, um, a teaspoon of vanilla, okay, this is the important part, the nutmeg, it, if you have fresh ground nutmeg, that's cool, if you don't, just use this kind of nutmeg, which I am using, and I'm putting in fairly good amount at about a teaspoon and a half of nutmeg because that's one of the things that makes eggnog taste eggnog 
and cinnamon. I'm gonna put in I'm making a mess. I'm gonna put in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. About okay, so that's everything. Milk, cornstarch, eggs, salt, vanilla, cinnamon, nutmeg. So I'll be back. I'm gonna go blend. Okay, so I am back and it makes a lot because I think the egg egg in the egg in the milk makes it go you know, makes it get bigger. That's my thinking anyway. So I'm going to get ready to go pour this into the pan. So hang on for a second. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to get this so you trying to get this so you can where are you? Trying to get this so you can watch. Got my whisk. Love my whisk. Okay, hopefully I'm getting this in the right spot. See, it already looks kind of thick, so. I think that's from the eggs. Whoa, I made a lot today. But that's a good thing. Make sure you get all that down there because all the cinnamon and nutmeg and everything on the bottom. So, I always look in the wrong spot. I then I watch my videos and I go, dang, who am I looking at? Uh, myself, I guess. Anyway, so now I'm going to mix it. And this is the kind of boring part. The thing about this is, you need to have it on low heat, which reminds me, you don't want to, because we're not tamp, tamp, tampering, 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 anyway, we're not doing that to the eggs, so we are going to start it out at a slow, sorry about that, at a slow, um, slow cooking heat, and then as it gets steamy and warm and the pan feels hot to touch, don't burn yourself, then we're going to Put the heat up a little bit and and let it get to the point where it starts to get really creamy because um yeah if you start out too hot you might end up with scrambled eggs and we don't want that to happen so um i'm going to uh pause and will i do this part and then i'll come back on when it gets closer to being done so you guys don't get bored watching me going because i know that that can't be too fun to watch all right see you in a bit so, I think it's getting close. Um, I've been stirring it for a while. I think at least 10 minutes. Let's see if you can see it. It's getting a little thicker, so I gotta watch it really good. Um, I was gonna tell you, if you want while you're stirring, you could sing. It's Christmas time, so I was gonna sing. Rudolph, but I hope I don't go on any copyright infringement laws. Anyway, so uh, yeah, you could sing Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you may even say it glows. All of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names, they never let poor Rudolph. Joining in the reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? I think it's getting, I think it's getting done. I don't want my scene to interfere with the finished product of my eggnog. See, I, can you see it? I hope you can see it, how thick it is getting. Okay. Kind of steamy. So I'm waiting for it just to kind of come to a little rolling boil. <sighs> yeah, my my hands getting tired. So almost, almost there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off. And I'm gonna set my thing. 
thing back. So, I don't know, you can't really see me. Hi, here I am. Um, here I am. I'm going to uh, ladle it into my cup, and then I'm going to ladle some into a glass cup. But remember to put a spoon in it. You don't want to break your cup because it's really hot. And I'm going to put that one to get cold so you can see what it looks like when it's cold. And then the other one is going to be hot. So hopefully, hopefully you can see this. Yummy, yummy. Yummy, yummy. I'm hoping you can. I'm hoping you can see this. Whoa! I'm making a mess. A mess! What a mess! I'm wasting my eggnog. Okay, that. Was my that was that was kind of a mess, but um, now I'm going to sprinkle some nutmeg on the top because you know that's how you do it. You could put whip, sorry, you could put whipped cream on it too if you want. I need to clean my mess up. Anyway, so um. I'll come over here where where it's bright. Uh, I'm going to taste. It's really hot. Can you see? Can you see the steam? Can you see it? Can you see the steam? <sighs> okay. Anyway. Ah, uh, it's good. I think I think it would have been better. Sorry. Sorry, Splenda. I think it would have been better without the Splenda. I think it would have been fine with just the amount of stevia I had left. Because it's kind of sweet. Um, but it's, it's, it's really good. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So, I'll be back after the other one cools to show you how it came out. And, um... I really, I think this is a historical event because I never heard of anybody making eggnog without cream or whole milk and um, maybe sugar free, but there is a small amount of sugar because the cornstarch has some, a little bit of carbs in it and the nonfat milk has some natural sugar that's just in nonfat milk. Um, so, you know, if you really wanted to get super non-fatty you could go um hang on hook you could go maybe almond milk or coconut milk but i think it would give it a whole different taste wouldn't have the eggnoggy taste but this is so much cheaper better tasting hang on hook than the the cartons that you buy in the grocery store and they put a lot of additives in there for thickening and um, stuff that's not, I don't think it's healthy. Um, I mean, they're probably the organic ones. But they're so expensive. Anyway, this is really good. Just a little too sweet, but that was because I put the dang Splendor in there. I should have just left it with the stevia. So I will put my recipe, as always, that I do. And I will come back to show you the cold eggnog in a little bit. So, hey everybody, um, my eggnogs had a chance to get cool, and, uh, I wanted you to, there's a little girl, I wanted you to see that it is, it, it's, it's really creamy. Here, it's creamy. It's really good to exactly like eggnog. But I do have a disclaimer, or a, because I would like to be 100% honest in my videos. Always, re always remember that. Um, I had asked my son to pick me up a gallon of non-fat milk, and um, 
he bought me one percent so what? why do i have to say sorry in your video because you got me the two percent milk why did you just say that i got the wrong one yeah i don't say sorry say sorry mom <laughs> But you are sorry. You didn't mean to. Well, I was the only kind they had. Okay, I forgive you, son. How's that? Yeah. So I didn't. I don't think I even noticed when I was making the video. But when, if you look at the carton when I hold it up, it says one percent milk. So I don't want to make this video again because this is the second time I've made it because I lost the other one. So um, I will swear to you. The non-fat milk tastes just as good, it tastes the same, and has the same uh, creaminess. In fact, the one I made yesterday with the non-fat milk seemed like it was even creamier. Uh, yesterday, just so you know, I am not lying. Yesterday, I used this one. Whoa, where's the front? I used Fair Life, which we had lactose free, but it was fat free. But I, I didn't have enough. Do I have a pig on my face? Anyway, I didn't have enough to make make another batch, so I said, Some, can you give it, bring me home um, a gallon of non fat so I can make. Well, I didn't. I don't know if I told them why, but anyway, so I could make that another one. And um, he brought me 1%. But just just to get the non-fat so you can do the fat-free because it's just amazing. And I know it's because of the cornstarch, but it's amazing that it comes out so creamy and just like regular eggnog that you buy in the store. And the eggs are cooked, which is cool. And there is a small amount of sugar in the cornstarch. Um, I'll list how many grams. And there is a small amount of sugar that naturally occurs in the milk. So, you know... It is pretty much sugar-free in the sense that you're not adding sugar besides the what's naturally occurring in the cornstarch in the milk. And it's definitely fat-free if you use the right milk son. Anyway, it's okay, son. Uh, but really, try it with the non-fat. I do it all over again, but I'm kind of eggnogged out. I mean, I love the egg dunk. I even, I even, I'll, I'll let you go. But I wanted to show you. I even made, um, I have a milk, you know, they, some milks come in the things. I like to keep them, wash them and everything. Um, and it's eggnog. Used to be another brand for something. But uh, now I have eggnog for at least a couple days. So it's kind of cool. So, yeah, please try it. Comment. Let me know what you think. Try it with the non-fat and let me know how yours comes out. And uh, enjoy. And I love you. Thanks for watching. Oh, remember, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks.